now for one of the biggest awards of the evening. For a generation that may have been too young to remember the magic of 1983 and Lords, 2011 and Wankhede was a taste of that. The team came into the World Cup already as the number two test playing side or one day playing side in the world and they came with the appetite of champions. They took on and defeated some of the biggest names in world cricket in a series of electrifying performances, whether it was Pakistan, Australia, or Sri Lanka. There can be little doubt that the Indian of the year, the Indian heroes of the year, are those 11 men who gave us magic and history on that night in April in 2011. Absolutely magnificent. Baldini finishes off in style. A magnificent strike into the crowd. India lift the World Cup after 28 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the Indian heroes of the year, the Indian cricket team, and they're all with us. Please put your hands together for them because there's so many of them. We're just going to ask them to come up in groups. If I can begin by calling Yuvraj Singh and Shrishan. Yuvraj and Shrishan. Yuvraj. Player of the tournament, Shrishan, please do join us and to give away the awards, Arun Jetli and Sunny Gavaskar. Mr. Jetli, Sunny Gavaskar, can I have you on your team? Uh, all of you uh, do stay on just have a, a few quick words with you it's it's so wonderful to have you all together and we'll have uh, the rest in just a second but Yuvi uh, what an incredible comeback it was for you at the World Cup you just uh, came out of uh, what some would say uh, somewhat of a slump but you just blew everyone away uh, with that incredible performance player of the year highest run getter highest wicket taker uh, any one moment that stood out for you well, uh, a lot of moments in the World Cup, but as you said before, the World Cup was having a tough time and uh, everything came well together. Uh, but I think the, in the World Cup, the loss against South Africa was the turning point for all the boys, I guess. And uh, we had a team meeting and decided that, you know, everything is going well for us, but this is the moment uh, that we need to be together. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, everything was going against and uh, there's a lot of uh, criticism and uh, you know, a lot of chat about how Indian team is going to go in the next round. So I think uh, regrouping at that moment was the moment for me in the World Cup. And uh, UV, now, of course, uh, you're perhaps getting itchy fingers sitting out uh, the England tour. But uh, how's that finger doing? Is it, is it getting better? Yeah, it's been tough. Uh, you know, I was looking forward on the England tour. I uh, got injured, uh, came back and uh, now I'm looking forward to come back on the, on the field as soon as possible. I saw that you tweeted uh, Kevin Peterson, you have an ongoing thing with him. You said now you can finally score some runs because the pie chucker is not playing. <laughs> well, he sided first saying that, uh, are you scared of uh, bowling to me? So I said, you know, uh, it's going to be a different ball game playing in India. So I can get some runs if, if, I, if I'm not bowling to you. Sunny Gavaskar, if I can just ask you, what was the one big difference between 1983 and 2011? Uh, well, easy. Actually, very easy. I think the 1983 team uh, was uh, a better looking team than the 2011. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, be, you got to respond to that. <laughs> both of you, in fact, because both of them have a huge following. Uh, well, I think he's right. Uh, we got, I think we got a, a group of quite ugly looking boys. So <laughs> I definitely would say that uh, 83 was a better looking side. Okay. I'd like to call three other very special people onto the stage. Gautam Gambhir, who played that magical knock in the final of the World Cup, Virat Kohli, and R. Ashwin. So I think it's also Ashwin. Gauthi, can I just. First of all, concussion all fine, no problem now? Absolutely, I think very, uh, pretty 100% fit, ready to go and England series was one which I was looking forward for and uh, we start off well and there's still uh, three more games to go, hopefully we can try and win all the three. But then cricket is such an unpredictable game, we start off well and hopefully we can continue the momentum. 
But you know, the World Cup final, an absolutely fantastic innings, and then you played that shot and you got out. What did you think at that time? Is it still possible that I've thrown away the match with that look, shot? Or were you, by that time, were we safe? Look, I think uh, as soon as I got out, I, the first thing that came in my mind was that I'm going to regret these three runs for the rest of my life. But then uh, getting 97 in the World Cup final and being on the winning side is always very special than scoring 100 and being on a losing side. So being part of the winning World Cup squad is always a great feeling, which we've done after 28 years, which was a long time. So I think uh, there's no regrets. But then uh, part of being a winning World Cup squad is always a great feeling. Virat, I have to say you came up with perhaps one of the most notable quotes that I have ever heard when you said that Sachin has been carrying the team on his shoulders for such a long time and now the entire country on his, on his shoulders and now it's time for us to carry him around. Did that come to you on the spur of the moment or had you thought about it before? Yes, we didn't know we were going to win the final so I didn't plan it. <laughs> but, you, have, uh, you could have had a pretty good guess that you would win. <laughs> no, it was, uh, you know, pretty... Um, for that moment, I mean, it just came up, uh, you know, in my mind and it was... Um, totally right what I said because that man has done everything for Indian cricket for so long and this was something we had to give it back to him and you know everyone put in their 100% effort all throughout and to be able to do that I mean it was a really special day for all of us. Ashwin were you aware that there was a there was almost a clamor around the entire country that Ashwin should play Ashwin should play at that time during the World Cup did that put any added pressure on you or how were you reacting to that? No, honestly, the first few times uh, I read the paper and then I found it to be very interesting. Uh, I didn't expect people to go gaga about it. But uh, after a few times, I decided not to read or uh, go too much into it because it was really getting to me at one point. But at the end of it, uh, we all won and it was a great feeling. All right. I wonder if I could just get a comment from anybody in the audience. Mr. Srinivasan here. Sir, would you like to say anything at all to the team? Any question, any comment you might have to make? Mike. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, nothing except to say uh, again congratulations and uh, also to uh, just recall what I said when they came back from England that I have full faith in the Indian team which they are proving. All right, absolutely they are and these two gentlemen had absolutely fantastic innings yesterday as well. Okay, if I can now finally call all the remaining players of that World Cup cricket team who are here with us. M.S. Dhoni, captain, please put your hands together for him. Virendra Sehwag, Virendra Sehwag as well. Suresh Rena and Ashish Nehra, please do join us. Also, Pranoy Roy, if you can have him on stage. And Mr. Pranav Mukherjee. Mr. Mukherjee, sir, can we have you on stage as well? just got to have one or two questions from you because don't we all admire and adore this man? A round of applause for the wonderful leader and most of all, wonderful human being. I've known him for years and he's the most, with a heart like yours, how do you put so much pressure on yourself? I have to ask you, in the final, you promoted yourself in the batting. That was a really tough decision and then you hit a six on the last ball. I mean, that's what you must have dreamt of when you were a six-year-old boy. Well, I didn't really plan it, you know. Uh, Gotham was batting with Virat and Gary came in and he was like, uh, do you want to promote yourself? And I was like, give me five minutes. I don't know right now. So he went outside. I went to the washroom, came back and I said, Gary, I'm in. So I decided at that point of time uh, what was important because you know, with UV in next, he was in a very good form. Uh, but I thought what may be important is, you know, with the two spinners, you know, especially the off spinners, uh, I think, you know, if I go in and with uh, playing with Murli Dharan, you know, three years of IPL, I knew, you know, the first few deliveries, if I can step out and take singles through the mid off, you know, I'll have the upper hand. So it really worked for me. And I think me and Gotham, we run the cheeky singles really well. And with Yuvraj, I always run the doubles well. So I thought, you know, it's an ideal scenario where if I can promote myself, uh, you know, it will be really good for the side. Right, but how do you, I think what everybody I've heard 
talk about you as remaining calm or appearing to be calm under intense pressure. Are you really calm or are you quivering? Well, uh, you know, everybody gets influenced by pressure, but what's important is to uh, not show the ex expression on the field. You know, that's one of the reasons I have the same amount of gray hairs as you. So <laughs> I think it shows up somewhere. Uh, but I think, you know, if you're not feeling the pressure, then you're not human being. But it's just that the belief that, you know, as a team we have in each other and in ourselves, you know, that really uh, gets us going. Right. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, would you have a question? Okay. One quick comment from each one of you about your captain. <laughs> just great leader, I mean. Just great leader. I think very honest. Very honest. Very aware of the situation. Very aware. Um, backs his players all the time. Backs his players. Pretty relaxed. Relaxed. Very caring and like a brother. He's like a brother. Promoting me down the order. <laughs> and you bully him also, right? <laughs> I think he's backing every player and that's important as a captain if you back your player and they can win your matches for you. But you're so easy to back so there's no problem with that. Do you have a question? Well, I don't uh, uh, really have a detailed question to all of them. Just one question. During the World Cup, when did you realize that this team is probably going to win? When did that point come? Well, I think we were taking it uh, one at a time because uh, you know, what we were really worried about was the injury list. Uh, you know, that, that was something that we were really worried about throughout the tournament. But the spacing of the games was such that, you know, if you have minor injuries, uh, we can still work around it. And the pressure kept on mounting in every flight we took. You know, the moment you land up right from the CISF personnel to the person who's checking you in, you know, please win the World Cup. So after a while, you know, what we said, we need to get the most out of it. Let's have fun because, you know, that's really putting pressure on us. So generally we used to ask, you know, why we should win the World Cup? Or why do you think we will win the World Cup? It's like, no, it's happening in India. So that was, you know, their belief. But we all believed in each other saying, you know, we have done well in the last couple of years. And as a unit, we were looking really good. So we thought if no injuries happen, no ma major injuries happen to the core players, more often than not, we have got a very good chance to win. Can I just ask you that England was a whitewash. Now you are winning this so easily. Is this going to be a brown wash? Well, uh, you know, we, we believe in consistent cricket. Uh, that's why, you know, we, when we were losing, we lost consistently also. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but jokes apart, we'll do well. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.